a lot of media people are slaves to your Twitter feed. How? Hell, Roland, you've tweeted like 200,000 times. Okay. Everything. Do, I've seen do, 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 you know what? Do, do, do you know what? You know what? are slaves to their no, Twitter No, no, first, first, it's not a, not a, first it's not a platform for us. First of all, it's, it's not a slave, slave uh, to it. What it is, is, is a communications medium. Okay? Now, as somebody, again, who's actually run three black newspapers, who's been new editor of a black magazine, who's run a black website, who understands how to communicate with folks, it is a medium. So you operate in this well, you're a slave to it. No, I understand what it is. If you have the capacity, let's also, if you really want to expand this, when you're African American who's run a black newspaper, and you might have a circulation of 20,000, but yes, you built a following, you could actually reach more people on such a platform, and it goes beyond just your traditional following. So that's not a slave, that's knowing how to use it. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Freeprints.com gives you 1,000 4 by 6 prints every single year, straight from your phone for free. You can print photos from Instagram, Facebook, and other sources. Now, very simple, you only pay a small shipping charge, no subscriptions or commitments ever. You can also get other size prints, and the photos are great quality. They're the number one rated photo printing app in the world with more than 100,000 five-star reviews. It's available for iPhone and Android. Download for free, freeprints.com, and be sure to put in there what you heard about it. Just say Roland. Now it's back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered Fit. Roland, and, you know, several times you've thrown out your credentials as a journalist. And so I, have you, but you say I'm a journalist, but well, go ahead. I've said I'm a journalist. I haven't tried to be condescending about my journalism. No, it's not condescending. No, no, Roland, you're acting as if uh, somehow your journalistic experience somehow supersedes mine. And that's no, I'm not acting like that. That's preposterous. But trust me, I understand journalism. And I understand what's going on right now with journalism. The entire media is addicted to Twitter. And Twitter, Are you? Absolutely not. Again, am I on it? Do I use it? Absolutely. But I know exactly what it is. So, Jason, so it's all the like, other media, everybody else is addicted. They figured it out. Everybody else is addicted to Twitter, Twitter, but you, oh, no, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm going to tag on myself. No, no, no. So I understand what Twitter is doing to us and what it's doing to America and what it's doing to the journalism profession. It's turned everything into clickbait. You can't have real discussions. That's why we spend so much time talking about what got spray painted on LeBron James's fence, rather than the crisis we have within our community but of see, our family. Let me finish, Roland. I get the whole thing of cut me off anytime I get to a point. Rather than dealing well, with the crisis well, you think you stop in too. our families in Black America, we're spending time worried about a twenty million dollar mansion that may or may not have had the N word spray painted on it, and somehow this is some great example. And see, but we have a complete collapse of the Black family that we won't talk about. We have a complete disconnect from God, and and, and just based in this secular world, and that's what Twitter is, and we're all addicted to it, and it's taking us further and further into the secular world, away from God and away from the path that has served and, us best and this, here in America. And this this is, and, th and this is a mistake you keep making. You keep saying, oh, we got to have a conversation, conversation, and we got to have it in depth. You act as if, oh, no, we can't talk about that, as if, as if we won't cover anything else. Really, as we can. See, the whole point of this is not to have. What are we talking uh, about? No, right no, no, now? one second, one what second. Hold on. Right if you don't ask me not to interrupt you, don't interrupt me. What are we talking about right if now? If you don't ask me, don't interrupt you, don't interrupt me. What are we talking about? Like right I said, now? So let, me finish, let, me, let, let, let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Okay, but so you don't interrupt. Because if you want me not to interrupt you, oh, yeah. do the same. The reality is, we can have an in-depth conversation. You talk about all these things, but then when you get challenged on it, ooh, why are we talking about it? The reality is this here. What we are looking at right now. Hold on, one second, one second. Hold on, hold on. You're interrupting. Hold on, but Jason. I'm not running Jason, Jason, you're interrupting again. Allow me to finish. I'm not running. Jason, allow me to finish. Jason, allow me to finish. No, you say, oh, why are we talking about this here? Why are we discussing this here? Why are we discussing these things here? Because those are things that you've discussed. Those are things that you've discussed numerous times. If you don't think that the protesting and the Colin Kaepernick and that's what you do about nothing. Why do you keep talking about it? Because Roland... In fact, your Twitter feed. You, oh, you Twitter. You were, you've been complaining when he got the war from Harvard. You sent multiple tweets. 
If there's no big deal, if everybody else is a slave to it. Multiple tweets about what? We call it Kaepernick. Got the award. Did he need the ball award from Harvard? I said. I said something about him not. Uh, no, you not streaming. You post about three. No, you post about three or four tweets. And so they said what? Tell me what they said. Okay, I'll call. I'll pull them up. Them up. But what I thought is, I don't it, but because what I think is interesting is, if none of these things matter, why do you keep talking about it? Because Roland, as I've explained to you. My job is to talk about what's going on in sports and who's making news in the sports world. My job dictates that I talk about Colin Kaepernick. His protest was one of the biggest deals in the history of sports. It changed the conversation about the NFL. It's my job. But if you're saying, what's well, no big deal, why we talk about it? So let me ask you this question. I have you're a nice job, man. Well, actually, well, first of all, we all have jobs, but there are a number of things that we can also talk about, and we can actually say, you know what? I don't think that's really important. I can talk about this in sports. I mean, we can actually do that. I have a job that's tied to television ratings and, oh. talk, and connected to what the mass of audience wants me to talk about. I can't just talk about what I want to talk about. I have a job. So, I have bosses. So you're now. So what you're saying is that you talk about these things because it's also part of the ratings game. It's part of my job. Right. Which. But then you complain. I mean, television, yes, ratings are a part of television, Roland. Okay, but you, you just but you that. just complained and whined about people using Twitter for clickbait, which is the same as ratings. It's the exact same thing. Yes, Roland. You said this is what you said. Too many people in the media are concerned about clickbait. That's what you said by Absolutely. Twitter, dude. That's the exact same as you saying Twitter that's about ratings. 140 characters to a, reduced, yeah, 280 character reduced, dumbed down conversation that makes everybody have a dumbed down. Well, actually, uh, actually, you can now see in tweets, you can actually send about 10, 12 in consecutively, so it's more than 280. But whatever, that makes everybody have a dumbed but Jason, down Jason, see, see, but see, conversation. See, see, this is where I think frankly being a hypocrite. You just said it's about rating. I got to talk about it. Part of my job is to talk about sports and certainly to drive television ratings. Which is clickbait. And if somebody else's job is to utilize Twitter for the same thing, but you say they're bad, but you're good.